This is Sports Center with L. Duncan and Kevin Nagandi. Welcome into Sports Center. She's back. 60 minutes of us before we go to NBA countdown. Ahead, our expert on the quarterback that should be taken number one in the draft and why we could be getting closer to a decision on Aaron Rodgers' feet. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Plus, with Kevin Durant's debut tonight, PTI is back in a couple of minutes. They'll debate who's under more pressure, KD or Kyrie. It's now live from the Suns Hornets game in Charlotte. I mean, it has been a couple of months, Wendy, so what are real expectations for KD tonight in Charlotte? Bit because KD is averaging 25 points per game for his career against Charlotte. That's actually his fewest against any team. So tonight might not be indicative at all as to whether this is working. Brian Windhorst standing by with the latest. As for the Jason Tatum has 33 games with 30 or more points this season. That ties him with Paul Pierce for the fourth most in Celtics history. He needs six more games with 30 plus to pass Larry the legend for the most in a single season in franchise history. Boston has 20 games left this season to do it. Doris Burke sat down with Tatum to break down his impressive play this season. Kevin, with baseball implementing changes to shorten the length of their games, college football could be next. NCAA officials are meeting in Indianapolis this week where they'll consider ways to keep the clock moving in future seasons. Dan Murphy has more on what's prompting them to try to speed things up in tonight's Sports Center report. Oh, what? Well, I, oh, but here's the eye accent. Well, so well, horrible. So bad, it was bad, and as a Southern person, I was like, he does not represent what we're about. I could not stand the Martian. He drove oh, me Oh, super crazy. annoying, too. Here's NBA Countdown.